Okay, so in this in this uh, video, we're going to talk about using a screenshot and displaying that onto your LED array. If you are stepping into this video series um, without having seen the previous videos, uh, go, take a couple steps back and um, getting to this point is explained in the previous video. So. We have the file new program we configured to create this um, this particular array, which matches what we have here on the table behind the computer. What we're going to do now is we're going to use a screenshot and we're going to display that image. We're going to capture that, uh, record it, and then download it to the SD card and then have it run as a program uh, through our controller. So what we do here is we go to screenshot which is here upon one of the top tabs open and what it does is it opens this square here and whatever's inside that square is displayed on the array and you'll see in a second what I mean so there and we're going to pull it down over this arrow so this right here once we're recorded, this is going to be the program. So we have the player over the arrow. Now what we do is we move. And there's a, a cheat button here. Just a little red dot, and that's a record button, so it makes your life a little bit easier. So we're recording, and it will record for however long uh, you want to record for. The shorter the program uh, that you're recording, the less frames, the smaller the file size. So that's good for now. Okay, so we stopped. Now what we need to do is you have to close the screenshot. So go back into screenshot, close. And now we're able to export the effect. So export effect, go to my computer, go to your storage device, your SD card. Okay, and bring up the screen. We're gonna use zero, zero. Nothing else is on the, on the card. Okay, it's now downloaded to the card. So we're going to safely eject SD memory card it's safe to remove remove the SD card okay we're going to place the card inside the controller with the controller powered off plug in the array Here, shut the lights off, get you a better image of what it really looks like here. And that was what was on our screen. That's it for now. Hope that helps. With the next, we're going to go over text and text scrolling across the screen. Uh, so stay tuned.